So a while ago I did a video called uh, the worst house tour ever or something. It was about the one in Bel Air. It's like the most expensive residential house ever built in America. Just a egregious, absolute mega mansion that the guy who built it, Niall Naomi, was trying to sell it for 500 million bucks. And uh, he didn't sell it because that's half a billion dollars for a house. So it didn't sell, he couldn't pay his loans, it got foreclosed on, and then it sold in a bankruptcy auction like a month ago for like a fifth of the price, like a hundred million bucks, right? To the to the guy who runs Fashion Nova, by the way. Anyways, Niall Naomi, the guy who built it, who I, I'm guessing probably won't ever build a house ever again, because I don't know who would trust him with their money anymore. He's now taken to travel vlogging? I'm not really sure. I follow him I follow him on Instagram, by the way, highly recommend following him. One of my top follows, I would say. He's been promoting this thing called the One Truth Network, which is, I don't know. I, it's something, it's probably crypto based, <laughs> right? Probably. It's probably some sort of NFT something that seems to be what people do when they kind of fizzle out of their actual career. They're like, well, okay, give NFTs a try then. But it's also like, it's like a travel thing. This, by the way, this is not even what this video is about. I just wanted to touch on this because it's just so absurd. <laughs> Is that cleared up for you? What it, what that might be? Didn't for me. I have no idea what the One Truth Network is. It just that just looked like a travel vlog. Do we get to go on a trip with him? Is that what it is? Because I don't think I want that. I don't want that. I don't want to be standing right here. I don't want to be in this picture, Niall. I really don't. But I mean, hell, you know. Good luck on the new endeavor. Hope everything works out. He also, I don't know. He deleted them, it seems. But he had these videos where he was like naked a lot. Like they were just like that. He had like nine other videos just like that where he was like Bangkok. Bali, but he's like naked and jumping around like like kind of like jackass style like I don't know like Tucking his dick behind his legs and like jumping around like acting silly. <laughs> it's like I don't I don't want to do that with you Niall. I don't want to watch you do that either So anyways people like this tend to b build weird houses in LA that are just way over the top and today's story is about another one of those another Bel Air mega mansion that is not selling. He's a plastic surgeon in LA. His name's Dr. Kadavi. He uh, he's a celebrity dermatologist. He like his his clients include Lance Bass. Kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> I saw him one time at a cafe. I was like, that's Lance Bass. You know, that's the that's like that's what you do. Holy fuck, Lance Bass. Anyways, he bought this house in Bel Air for 16 million bucks in 2013. It's 21,000 square feet. And he like completely redid it to turn it into a tricked out bachelor pad. That's what the LA mag calls it here. He put in a levitating DJ booth and an NFT gallery of fucking course, of course. So he was trying to sell it last year for like $88 million. No one bought it, of course. So he just filed for bankruptcy protection. And now the home's gonna be auctioned off with a reserve price of uh, just a mere 50 million. Discount? Oh, uh, that's a hot steaming deal. Where do I sign? Fucking sign me up. It's been my life goal to buy a house with an NFT gallery. You know what an NFT gallery is? It's just buy a digital picture frame and fucking put up a picture of a board ape. There you go. This is a quote of his recently. He said he is confident that his property will sell for in excess of the reserve price. I have a nice buffer over here. I'm not going negative like the people at the one. <laughs> I'm sorry, what's good, dude? Are you talking shit about my boy, Niall Miami? I know you're not talking shit on my boy, Niall, dude. Let's keep it posy, bro. Positive vibes only is how we do it on this channel. These uber rich people all seem to be pretty well adjusted, don't they? Like this, another part of the article. Last year, his neighbors filed a restraining order against him after he was filmed going on a slur-ridden homophobic rant in his building's lobby. <laughs> Hey, I need to pause for a second to thank the sponsor of this video today, which is HelloFresh. It's spring, which means it's the perfect time to try something new like HelloFresh. HelloFresh offers step-by-step -step recipes that are super easy to follow. I cook with Kelsey all the time using HelloFresh and we both love it. All the recipes are super, super tasty. It really tastes like restaurant quality food after you make it. My favorite, my personal favorite, you probably know is the bibimbap. It comes with pre-portioned ingredients to cut down on prep time and you have the option to add, swap, 
or upgrade proteins each week. But if you don't F with meat like that, then they offer veggie, pescatarian, and fit and wholesome meals to, you know, tailored for whatever, however you're trying to eat. And one of the cool things about HelloFresh is they're, they're one of the first carbon neutral meal kit companies. And nearly all their packaging is recyclable. So if you want to try it out, go to HelloFresh.com and use code CodyCo16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. Ooh. Try HelloFresh, it's really great. Seriously, I love it. Okay, back to the video. This is the producer Michael video. Another fucking crazy rich guy. <laughs> this is his house tour of this house. So let's check it out. Let's just live the absurdities. Well, there's two cool things. So one, obviously you saw the DJ booth. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Not the new shoe! My two thousand five hundred dollar shoes. I I love this guy. <laughs> He's so fucking weird. Oh man! By the way, the original house tour video that I did about the one, I, his producer reached out and was like, "You can't use this video. It's our video." And it's like, "Well, no, it's fair use, so you can use it." Have you ever looked at the rules for that stuff? And they were like, they were fucking pissed that I did a video on it. They were like, how, how could he take the video and use it in his video? I ended up like linking his channel or something. And the guy was like, okay, it's all good. But they were gonna copyright claim me. Okay, let's just jump around to some of the funny parts of this. You hit the button over here. It takes about a minute, but it's a retractable. I'm gonna wait and show you. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, you'll see. A retractable what? What is it? I'm fucking. I'm waiting, I'm waiting here with bated breath. It takes one minute to go up. It supports 2,500 pounds, the same as the elevator. Really? Yeah. So this is something, Adam, we have never seen in a house before. Yeah. A retractable, well, we don't know. We'll know in a minute, so. And we already know what's in here. Yeah, but, you know what's in here. But the, the viewers don't. It's full of surprises. It's full of surprises. <laughs> Are you taking a peek? I see a DJ booth. That's right. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, I see a DJ booth. <laughs> That's everyone's reaction to that. Like the owner's like, yo, check this shit out. Hold on. Takes a minute, but trust me, you're going to be fucking stoked. Watch this. Oh, it's a DJ booth. Cool. <laughs> so if you look down, you can see that door. That's a bank vault. So you have your own vault. <laughs> I'm just picturing like Diplo just just down here. Just like, oh, fucking finally, holy shit. God, I've been down here for years just waiting for this thing to retract upwards. God, I'm running out of food. Can I play a set already or what? You have your own red wine cellar and you also have like your own private bunker that you can create for yourself just in case. So like a safety room. It's a safety room. You definitely, if it's one thing you need in a safety room, it's good music. Like let's, let's fucking hope that Tiesto's at your party when the world starts ending so that you can all bunk down there together and be like, yo, Tiesto. Come on, dude. Come on. Play another one. I'm bored. Come on. Look how close that is. Yeah. I'm sure it's going to miss. That is, it is. I'm sure it will miss. That is precise. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Oh, wow. That is close. Yeah. <laughs> Super close, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so forced. Oh, wow. Ta -da! Oh, it feels like a solid floor. This can be your DJ debut, huh? Get it. Get it. Hello, Miami! Miami, I go by the name of producer Michael. <laughs> Let's check out the bar in the Infinity Koi Pond. You can see the Koi Pond outside, which I love this because it's very zen in this room when you see all the greenery outside. Look at the size of the fish. Aww. Gotta be honest, that's pretty cool. That is pretty fucking cool. Look at the foliage here. It feels like you're in the middle of the jungle. That's nuts. The scale of things is so big, you don't realize how big things are. Yeah. Check that out. You'll know what that is, Adam. Oh, the poor shuka? This? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, know, you don't know what that is, you fucking degenerate. <laughs> check, out, check that out, you junkie piece of shit. You'll probably know what that is. Fucking camera guy. That's all you are, dude. That's all you are. To know that. All right? I'm producer fucking Michael. Hey, check that out. You'll know what that is. It's like a heroin needle. That's the coolest hooker. Seriously. Is it a hooker? Yeah. yeah. Yes. You see, see the make? Porsche. Yeah. It's Porsche. A Porsche hookah. I mean, this is just like this is just a this is just a level of rich where it's like, why wouldn't you have that? Why would you not? It's like at this point, you seek out things that are just stupid and weird to differentiate yourself from all the other rich people out there. 
I think this is like a $2,000 hookah. Is it really? Something like that. I'm not gonna say the price for sure, but that's what I heard, so I think so. What the fuck? Why would Porsche even make that? Porsche hookah, let's check that out. Yeah, damn, it's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. Damn, that's pretty cool. I might just, oop, no, 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 no. Come on, this is stupid. You don't need a, you don't need a Porsche. Hookah, let's proceed to check out. No, no. Zero to 60 acceleration or zero to high <laughs> very quickly, mate. <laughs> yes. Amazing. Yes, I Look love this bar. It's very beautiful. Look how cool these are. I love my man keeps putting his Rolex in the frame. <laughs> it's so unnatural to point like that, <laughs> but he's just making sure just the absolute, like in every single shot. Yo, check these out. What's this? It's like, that's a bowl, dude. Oh, for sure. My bad. So this is stunning. This is the formal dining room. Look at this beautiful, beautiful chandelier. This is a Terzani custom $247,500. $247,500. Really? I was like, damn, I might cop that. 200, 247 bucks? <laughs> Quarter of a million dollars. Murano glass. It looks it though. Yep, it weighs over 900 pounds. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. I love it. It's a statement piece for this room, especially with the glass you can see outside. And I just love the contrast of it. I just don't fuck with this style at all. I don't know why. I hate the white marble, shiny white marble and like eccentric gold accent pieces. Do you know what I mean? I mean, it's just absurd in general of this chandelier is a quarter of a million dollars you could buy a house you could buy a house just with that chandelier that's that's preposterous on in itself but i just it's just tacky to me the style i don't like it now keep in mind i said that this was tacky right but if someone was like hey do you want to live here for free i'd be like fuck yeah yes fuck yeah fuck yeah i want my own koi pond and you come out into this amazing view and you see this sculpture here, which I think is really funny because Alex, the owner, says this is two hearts, but one's broken because of how much money he spent on this house. <laughs> I love so it. So his heart broke over the cost of this. <laughs> I love it. Classic. Just rich guy things. I felt like that before. <laughs> That's just horrible. That's horrible to remind himself just about the other productive things he could have done with all this money. And how he didn't do those things. He instead spent way too much on a fucking stupid sculpture. That's so funny to build a sculpture to remind you of your stupid money decisions. Like every time he comes out of the theater, he's relaxed, just watched something dope, like the Batman. And he comes out and he's like, oh, oh, right. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I could have like done some real difference with that money. And instead, I bought this sculpture. Man. And now, I got, and now I'm filing for bankruptcy. <laughs> I am so silly. This is like, going to be the most bizarre part. Producer Michael just starts doing an ad for his own clothing, which is a little bit weird for the realtor, I feel like. <laughs> oh my word, fancy seeing you here. Hi! <laughs> Hello. Motti Raffi. Are we shopping? It's my business partners. Just got a shoehorned in one of the rooms here. What the hell? Did Welcome you meet Amanda? Meet Amanda. Hi guys. This is Mochi and this is Rafi. So nice to meet you. Uh, and what are you doing here? I know what they're doing here. <laughs> Thank you for us, Mike. That's so awkward. It's so awkward. I, I don't know if you know or not, but I have a, a, a clothing line, a producer Michael clothing line. Yes. This is one of the shirts. I love that. And this is the brand new one. Dude, this shit. Look at this part of the video. <laughs> it goes from 32 minutes to 40 minutes. It's an eight minute ad for his shirts eight minutes that's a full youtube video he like tries them on like this fit maybe better with a plain shirt yeah, yeah. but it's cool right yeah, yeah. Very nice. <laughs> no it's not no it's not <laughs> you know she's just like biting her tongue like yeah yeah no mike that shit slaps okay anyways before we end this house tour we gotta check out the motherfucking nft garage Ryan Serhant uh, did a did also did a tour of this house where he toured the the garage and the NFT gallery. So let's check it out. This is not just a garage; it is a garage with amazing cars, but NFT gallery. If you think the cars are cool, 
Wait till you see the retractable NFT picture frames. So there are millions and millions and millions of dollars worth of NFTs. I don't exactly get the NFT concept. So these, there's NFTs in these screens? These are NFTs. And these yeah. are NFT yeah. art. Yeah, these are NFTs art. They're, they're made specifically for this house. Wow. Um, a lot of them are really super famous. I wish I could say that an NFT gallery was cool, but to me, it's not cool. It's just TVs on the wall. You know, how do you even know that he owns that piece? I, you don't really. I mean, I would assume he probably does. All right, guys, that's it. Another silly house tour. There you have it. Just rich guys doing rich guy things, filing for bankruptcy. You know how it goes. Um, I want. I got. I need to get myself into one of these places. You know, the kombucha layer was one thing. I want to do. I want to do one of these house tours. I want to do. That's that's. If you would want to see that, then then leave a comment. Let me know. Yeah, I would like to see that. And, uh, but like, can you, like just walking around, wow, a lot of water feet, a lot of water features, <laughs> just making all the same comments as producer Michael. Anyways, best of luck and, uh, stay on your grind. All right. Bye.